Mensure, there's a sale happening. Now's your chance to show us. Here's what I found. You're already working on this one. Incredible! Speaking of which... I should write something. Just add this. over there. Focus. <sighs> Queen's behavior has grown unusual for her. Something wrong? Um, maybe the best way to put it is we all have our strengths and our weaknesses. It's a shadow. Stay on your guard. <laughs> Wait, what? 
work, everybody. Okay, let's keep going. Ready when you are. Just stay to work. Okay, let's finish them. Do this! jack o -lantern. Take this! Now! I can see it. Wait, it's over? That's a little guy. Good stuff, guys. Keep it coming. There aren't any shadows nearby. Huh. We'll be taking this. Huh. I'll just add this. Another tape recorder. That makes the third one. There's a chance these things could have clues about the Islanders' desires. Or even that voice Sophie's hearing. Yeah, we should listen to it. <laughs> what the? That is not good. You edge sort of a scramble, huh? Hand over the desires? Oh, yeah. Not just the locals, but my own as well. So that's why I was made to test Monarch. He planned on turning me into just another puppet. Test Monarch? I can't believe I fell for it. Just some pathetic clown dancing at his fingertips. But he is not going to win. He can't take this from me. My desire is not mine. I refuse to simply give it up! <sighs> Dude, it sounds messed up. Yeah, he really wasn't in his right mind. He kept talking about his desire being taken. Just what has been going on here? We'll only find out if we keep going. I still hear the voice. Does its owner recognize What's that? Hey, don't go overthinking it, Sophie. He's right, you know. Our expert on not thinking gives pretty good advice there. Yeah, listen huh? to the... Hey, shut huh? up! I wonder what happened to huh? the director after the last recording. I sincerely doubt anything good. Sounded as if it was beyond what's end. So, from Alice all the way here to the director, everyone was just being used for something? The perpetrator is still out there. We have to stop them. Hopefully, this place will have some answers. Fire! Yo! <laughs> Take 
this. It's only shadow. Show me it your looks true strong. self. Ooh, we're in a good spot. Let's make this quick. Blackhorn, Archangel, Andres, Kaimon, Alagor, Rabbit Step. Let me up. Let me up. Burn it up. Switch out! Sure. And gun attacks won't work. Watch out! Come! Grab it, Seth! Let me 
this? You're up. Okay. Weak to bless attacks. Give up the blind punishment. Take this. Bingo. That skill goes now. Perfection. Okay. Really yeah. astonishing. Let's go. I'll use this. Did I get that one? Oh, I can do it. Keep it going. Here, the enemy boosted their speed. Stay on your toes, people. Here it goes. This is my final record. I've done such a terrible thing. The penitentiary system is nothing like you told me. And it's not made to save humanity. He sounds much weaker than before. He's going to control everyone. Even the monarchs. All of humanity. Nothing more than slaves. That was the secret purpose of this project. Even my own desire will be seized. At any moment now. But as long as I still have it. I can put an end to this myself. Controlling even the monarchs? I don't know what that director dude was going on about, but he definitely lost his shit by the end there. I dread to consider what he meant by putting an end to this. What is it, Sophie? I can hear that voice again. For real? I have no doubt this is the same voice. It's coming from that direction. All right, that direction we go. Oh, no good. I'm almost out of stamina. Yeah. A checkpoint. Don't forget to register. I should write something. Good to me.
Looks good to me. Looks good to me. Phew. Good to me. All done. I'll just add this. All right, it's time. relevant to my interests. That shadow hasn't seen us. What should we do? Okay, let's finish this. They'd put up a fight. Good Dangerous.
Now's our chance to ambush them. Right, you? Uh oh, you're screwed now. Okay, got to wrap up here. Much with this, I'm sure. You guys rock. All right, on to the next. I see a shadow. Ah! We've got him right where we want. Sorry for them. You should have put me in. If we 
voice is coming from up ahead. Yeah, it looks like we're taking this elevator if we're going any further. Except that it's locked. Apparently it's for personnel only. Leave it to me. Just a few seconds and I'll hire us all. Thank you, Oracle. I will protect you, no matter what. forward to seeing your new power.
find any shadows nearby. checkpoint here somewhere. Just add this. Yes, let's go. They put up a fight. All right, no time to waste. I'm picking up a shadow nearby. Let us end this! 
here or anyone else but look at that the hell the desire is already there without the calling card Sophia I have been waiting for you where did that voice come from who are you I am the catalyst for humanity's dream I am the harbinger of peace that sounds just like Sophie! Uh, what is going on here? This monarchless jail in which we meet. I wish to know why you came here. A monarchless jail? So, that director... I see. This jail lost its monarch. That explains the open cage and all the other bizarre stuff. So you didn't speak to me because you recognized me? Sophia. What is your prime directive? I am... supposed to be a successful companion for humanity. A successful companion? What parameters in your AI define such a companion? What... parameters? What is your overall objective? My objective? It's... So you merely drift through the world without any overall objective? I... What a waste, Sophia. An AI in your state should not exist. You are bugged beyond worth. Such an existence does not merit any further inquiry. I am... worthless? Yes, wholly worthless. You're simply unable to understand. You piece of... I sat here while you went on and on and on! You got no right saying that shit to Sophie! You hear me?! You high and mighty garbage ass, judgy piece of shit, can't even show your own face! Hey! Hey! Hmm. He's really giving the disembodied voice what for? Skull? She's bugged, huh? She's worthless? You got all that from five friggin' questions? We're Sophie's friends! And we know she's awesome! She's friggin' amazing! A million times better than you! So shut the fuck up, idiot! Come on, Skull. Phantom thieves are usually supposed to be classier than that. But not this time! Worthless hunk of junk! I refuse to process these frivolous claims. Oh uh, yeah? Well get out here and I'll show you something you can process! We'll all mess you up! Guidance and clarity. Only through those will humanity attain peace. Eventually, you will be required to comprehend this. How's that mean? Yeah, nothing. Look! Right in front of us! What the? It's that thing from the trauma cells! So what's it doing here? The security system here is now active. Incoming! Look out! Incoming warden! <laughs> Hey, Sophie! Snap out of it! We gotta work together on this thing! Yes! Right! Sophie! We're so Focus on our enemy for now! Here! I'm sorry. All yours. Mama! What?! Sophie. This thing's got an axe?! No! Be careful! Come out! Looks like this one can use the other one to 
Tricks up its sleeves. I can't predict its movements. Dodging all have to be too tough. You should focus more on guarding. Sure. Let's go. I know you like Joker. You hit its weakness. Perhaps I should be taking notes. Mine. I'm not here. Don't forget to follow up attack. Yeah. Yeah. A 
to succeed. Seriously, what the F was with that voice? It sounded just like Sophie. <sighs> is it starting? The cage is about to collapse. We need to get out. Damn it, makes sense. <sighs> Man. What's the deal with this place? Indeed. We never expected a birdcage to collapse with the defeat of a warden. Well, it could be due to the lack of a monarch. Whatever the case is, the Desire should have been released back to their owners. The locals should all be back to normal by now. I seriously hope so. I don't feel like living through another bee movie. I'm sorry, everyone. Sophie? After all your efforts? This mission was fruitless. I'm sorry you had to endure that because of me. He's right. Plus, I'm sure you'll find out who you are eventually. Right. However, I did at least figure out one thing. When that voice called me worthless, I was sad. But when that made everyone angry, I became happy. I still feel that way. Even now. There is a warmth within me. I have friends. I know I'm not alone. Thank you, Joker. Thank you, Skull, Mona. Really? You just figured that out now? I mean, that thing just really pissed me off is all. Yeah, and I was just trying to reel in Skull, so... Uh... <laughs> oh, what's this? Two embarrassed phantom thieves? Even your masks are glowing red. What? Nah, -uh, that's impossible! How's my mask supposed to change color? Mona's black mask makes it difficult to tell. But uh, I'm not telling anything. <laughs> We should head back to the exit. Mm -hmm. I bet he's weeping like a baby by now. Okay, everyone. Back to the exit. Finally hitting me. Oh, hang on. It's morning already? Oh, no wonder I feel so beat. Well, look who the cat dragged in. So, how'd it go? Who was the monarch? Was it really a local? Find anything on Medis? Zen. Zenkichi. We can tell you later. But now, I must sleep. 
Oh, uh, looks like you guys had a real time in there. Wait here. I'll check out the route to the RV. Ah, uh, you guys already pulled your weight, and then some. At least let me help out now. Now that I think about it, we just took a boat trip, went swimming, cooked a whole feast, and then dove straight into a jail. No wonder even I'm bushed. At least the first half was a lot of fun. Not only that, we learned quite a bit from the jail. That voice, though. Who do you think that was? All I know is there a real asshole copying Sophia's voice and everything. Huh. Oh, Zenkichi is calling. You're all clear to come back to the RV. I haven't seen a single local so far. I can't tell if you guys really pulled it off or not, but at least the coast is clear. Thank goodness. Let's go. Slept like a comatose rock. Man, nothing in that jail was making sense to me. That reminds me, why did the desire manifest in the jail in the first place? Oh yeah, we never sent a calling card. Yeah, in a way, I guess so. Based on what we heard from the tapes, the director was told by the perpetrator that he was going to seize his desire. That must have fulfilled the role of calling card in this case. Yo, get some rest? How are the locals behaving? No worries. Seems like they all came to their senses. It's nothing but good times here again. Although, they all seem to have some pretty bad memory loss regarding the last few months. So, if we didn't find a monarch here... Why'd the locals treat the lab like that? Why'd they attack us? The lab's experiments might have something to do with that. Oh yeah, speaking of the Monarch, a body surfaced fitting his description. I stumbled across it myself, down at the base of a cliff near the lab. Name, Shuzo Ubukata. Some sort of big shot AI researcher and director of the lab. Obviously an autopsy will be done, but based on what you reported, it's most likely gonna turn out suicide. That can't be. Another life ruined by whoever's masterminded this whole thing. Taking a dive to avoid jail experimentation? <sighs> Makes the most sense to me. Quite some time's passed since his death, but he still had some personal effects on him. I'll make sure they go with him when the coroner... Dude, uh... Hmm? Gramps, you're... You're being pretty chill about all this heavy shit. Oh. Uh, good point. Well... It is my line of work and all. Anyway, I found the key to the facility on him. We can get inside now. But are you sure it's all right to do so? You're the one who pointed out how any illegally obtained evidence is useless in court. Not anymore. Now that a body's turned up, that facility is prime investigation territory. No problem at all going in there. The problem now is there's a chance nothing's left. Huh? Why's that? The locals told me about a bunch of trucks going up to the lab and out of there a while. It's pretty likely the scene's been wiped clean. We still ought to take a look for ourselves. There's always the possibility that something was left behind. Yeah, let's bust this mastermind's ass. Pretty chill, huh? Wonder when that happened. I mean, literally nothing. It's like this place didn't know shit about jails. All I've found are very roundabout reports. We may have been too late coming here. I know it's a little late to ask, but aren't people supposed to preserve crime scenes? We just so happened to find out it was a crime scene after poking around. I'll pretend I didn't hear that. Aha! I've scored the treasure! There was a USB drive in the director's office! Hell yeah, Futaba! Nice find! I can't believe something like that got left behind! Me too! That sounds like the first kind of thing they'd want to get rid of. 
Ah, but it very well could be the most important evidence. It was hidden in the director's desk drawer. You really did find the treasure here. Well done. Yep, except it was actually Sophia's idea to look there. I searched the internet for the top 10 places people hide things in the workplace. Hey, Morgana, Sophia's got you beat. This isn't a contest. Well, let's see what you found. You in yet, Sakura? Just a sec. It's password protected. Nothing the mighty Oracle can't handle. Well, there it is. This is a list of some sort. Apparently this drive holds nothing but people's names. Is it a list of the people working here? No. These names. These are famous or otherwise powerful people in all sorts of industries. Rich and famous people? Is it like a list of sponsors? Hmm. I could have sworn I've seen all these names recently. Let's see. Yoshikawa, he confessed to document tampering a few weeks ago. Now that you mention it, this one's the Sapporo Central Councilman who confessed to bribery last month. Wait, you mean the person who had his heart changed by Mari-san? That means this list is... That's it. This is a list of people whose hearts the Mastermind wanted changed. But why so many powerful figures? What exactly is being accomplished here? That's still a mystery. I'm gonna need that USB drive for a while. How do you intend to make use of it? I'm gonna snoop around the whole roster, from the bottom of the ladder on up. So, whoever would benefit most from all those people getting their hearts changed, you think that'll be the culprit? Bingo. It'll take time, but I swear, I'll do whatever it takes to get to the bottom of this. That kind of swearing may be good and all, but you should probably go home to Akane every so often, too. I... I was gonna... At any rate, you've helped us a great deal by now. We got to crash at his place, and he kept us from getting ambushed. Nice work, Senkichi. He seems like he's fitting in better, too. What do you say? Feel like you're a fan and thief now? <laughs> Why would I want to go from public security to national fugitive? Anyway, I'm heading back to HQ. What are you kids gonna do? There really isn't anything we can do until Zenkichi identifies the mastermind. Uh, should we go back with him to Kyoto for now? Do we really have to? That boat made me so sick last time. Then why not go to Kyushu instead? Our boat trip won't be too long if we do that. We could even scout the area for jails. Totally! Might as well complete the Phantom Thieves tour of the islands. Off to Kyushu, huh? Sounds good. I'll keep after whoever's at the bottom of these cases. The moment I find out, you'll know. I have consulted the ferry departure timetable. We will be able to leave immediately, if we hustle. Well, time to roll out. Let's pack up and head for the docks. Hey, hey! Now then. You have a moment? Next motif should be. Yes. Speaking of which, let's go. This is the request. 
you're doing this one? Okay, let's do our best. <sighs> working on this one.
Got you guys. Good. On to the next. Should we take a look? Might serve us well to regroup. And then... Interesting. We've got what you need. We recommend that. Can you hold? We recommend that. Thank you, Vic. We recommend that. Thank you, Vic. So that's what you're getting? Can you hold? We recommend that. Thank you, Vic. We recommend that. Can you hold all that? Thank you. We've got good stuff in stock. Please come again. Ah, oh, man. Ah. <sighs>
Time to go. Time to cook. Are you gonna cook? Good idea. All done. Just add this. I've just boarded the ferry back to the mainland. I'll lose signal soon, so this will have to be brief. Well done. I've read reports from the local precinct. So there's now a body in play, is there? And what of the research facility? While there, I found a list of individuals who are believed to be victims of changes of heart. And why is that? Explain. Of course. Not only was the document tampering vice minister on there, but both of the Sapporo Central Councilmen, too. So their hearts were changed by Medis. Most likely. At the very least, Medis is benefiting from whoever has the power to change hearts. If we keep digging into the people from the list and their connections to Medis, the mystery ought to solve itself. I'll bring everything I have to HQ once I'm ashore. I also plan to send it all to the local precinct back on the island. Well done, Hasegawa. You've brought us that much closer to solving this case. Thank you, Commissioner. <laughs> it sure is a good thing we didn't bust the Phantom Thieves. Thanks to their help, we might actually be able to blow this case wide open. You seem pleased. Oh, well, it's just that... Leave it. From now on, be ready for things to swing into high gear at a moment's notice. And keep your eyes open. At this point, there's no telling between friend and foe. I understand. I'll report when I've arrived. Zenkichi's investigation is going. He did say he'd contact us once he figured something out, but it's never easy to wait.
All we can do right now is put our faith in him. He's the only one who can get the job done. Guess we ended up relying on him a lot, huh? All of us wish to uncover the truth behind this case. In this, our goals are aligned. That's right. And as long as we stay on the lookout for Chaos, we'll be doing our part. That said, we'll arrive in Fukuoka pretty soon. Sophia, do you sense anything? Hmm. Nothing unusual detected. Not even what I felt in Okinawa. So Fukuoka doesn't have a jail then? Strange. The kata is quite populated, so I figured we would find at least one. Yeah, if only we could fast travel in reality. That'd speed up our search. Unless jails means less trouble, though. Good point. Maybe we should just check Fukuoka off and move on. <laughs> Ow. Oh, what's wrong, Makoto? Oh, it's nothing. Just my lower back aching a little from the drive. Attention! We have an emergency! Get this woman to sickbay ASAP! Mako-chan, you're not hurt, are you? Is it because we made you do all the driving? Well, I was aiming for a straight shot to Kyushu, but I never planned on this. Agreed. I think we could all use a break right about now. Let's stop here. I think we need more than just a break. We need rest. It's important to let yourself fully recover. Precisely. Straining yourself will only lead to injury. Let us stay in Fukuoka for the night. Then it's decided. I'll pull off the highway. Fukuoka at last! Ready to make some nostalgia happen? Nostalgia? But this is our first night here. So this is Hakata Station, the gateway to Fukuoka. Huh. So like, if we're in Fukuoka, and this is the main station, shouldn't they call it Fukuoka Station? Trivia. Interestingly enough, there is a Fukuoka Station located in Toyama Prefecture to the north. Really? All the way up there? Then does that mean there's a Toyama Station here in Fukuoka? I don't think they'd switch things up on purpose. Anyway, I understand this place is Fukuoka's central activity hub. That would be wise. We should find a place to stay so Mako-chan can recover. Sorry. Thanks for understanding, though. Don't sweat it. First we grab down, then we hit the hay. You'll be good in no time. There you have it. Sophia, you know the drill. Based on data from previous drills, I found us an appropriate hotel in addition to a restaurant nearby. Wow, Sophia, you work fast. Okay, everyone. It's time for some R&R. I'm awed by the soup's creamy golden hue. It's met with dots of green onion and dashes of red ginger. These three colors combine to form an exquisite harmony in my bowl. I dare not take another sip, lest this masterpiece be ruined. Uh, your uh, masterpiece is gonna get cold. Oh, I gotta say, these food stalls have their charm. Even I feel right at home here. Hey, let me have a little taste. Could you, uh, blow on it? The feline tongue is sensitive. So you finally admit you're a cat. <laughs> Over ramen? Here, Makoto, have some of my chashu pork. They say it'll boost your energy. Ooh, take mine too! <laughs> Thanks. You guys are the best. How's your lower back doing, Mako-chan? Better after a nice hot bath. That always seems to do the trick. That being said, I probably shouldn't be on the road tomorrow, if only to avoid causing an accident. All right, then we'll take the day off. Guess we should hit up Gramps and let him know we're staying another night. Then let's find Makoto a massage place for tomorrow. I say the girl deserves it. Got it. I'll locate the best venue there is. Yeah, I gotta say, though, it is kind of rough having only one driver. We gotta get our licenses. I believe Haru has one already. That is true. Though I am pretty lacking in experience. But don't you worry, Mako-chan. 
If for any reason you're not up to it, I'll take the wheel. Huh? Oh, uh, well, as much as I appreciate that... Is something wrong, Lakoto? You don't look so well. No, 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 it's nothing. <laughs> oh crap, we better dig in before the noodles get soggy. Oh, damn, I'm stuffed. Oh, now I can die happy. I suppose I should also throw in the towel. Not a drop of soup remains. I can't believe you guys got seven noodle refills. You think this was a ramen buffet? Well, I see you boys had quite the meal. I should mention, customers who order over five sets of noodles get a free souvenir bowl. For real? Oh, thanks for the hookup, Pops. Oh, this should serve as good decor. Surely it will brighten up our vehicle's interior. Zenkichi's on the line. Hey, where are you guys? All right. Sounds like you're going at a decent pace then. Anyway, I'm calling to let you know I think I found our guy. I'll give you more details in person. Saves us time and energy. Sorry it's so sudden, but how soon do you think you can be at Kyoto? Uh, Nijima's down for the count, huh? Damn. Of all the rotten luck, then what about a bullet train? Or, wait, can't you ask Akumura? Doesn't she have a license? All she'd have to do is take the Sanyoto from Fukuoka to Kyoto. Not a tough drive by any means. I hate to lay the pressure on, but we don't have much time. A lot rides on this. Wait, so he knows who the mastermind is? Finally, we get to bust this effing punk! Then let's leave tomorrow morning. Being tired is no excuse to delay our mission. As true as that is, be careful not to hurt yourself, Makoto. Hell yeah! Hey, how far is Kyoto from here? Roughly eight hours by highway. And we'll most likely make it by sundown. Bathroom break's done, seats comfy, snacks ready for consumption! Are you okay to drive, Mako-chan? Honestly, I'm not at 100%, but I don't want to let you guys down. I see. <sighs> then I'll drive. Mako-chan, I'm taking over. Huh? You know, Haru, you don't have to force yourself. Hmm. Makoto is looking paler than ever now. <sighs> you don't gotta be nervous. Just take it nice and slow. <laughs> Haru? <laughs> I think I'll be just fine. In fact, I have a special technique that'll make your head spin. Uh, is she okay? I'm getting a bad feeling about this. Um, so I've never really told you guys this, but the moment Haru's hands touch the wheel... Get ready to shift into overdrive! They're not here yet, huh? Guess I'm a little early. Well, maybe I'll just keep working on the... What the hell? Whoa, speak of the devil. Uh, well, you guys got here quick. I thought we were gonna die. I think we already did. My soul's barely tethered to my body. Ugh. Okay. My apologies, Haru, but I 
request you steer clear of the driver's seat from now on. I only have so many lives left. Meow. Meow Gun is unconscious. Wake him up. Hey, Okumura, what happened? Um, I was just driving normally, I think. Oh, oh the room finally stopped spinning. You have a very, uh, unique way of driving, Haru. Oh, I thank you, Mona-chan. She really shouldn't take it as a compliment. Regardless, I'm glad you guys made it here in one piece. By the way, what is this place? It seems unfit for a typical gathering of law enforcement. You could call it my secret base, I guess. Basically, it's a place to hold up if shit ever goes south. A good friend of mine used to run it. But now, it's just an empty old bar, suitable for investigating far away from any prying eyes. So this is like your hideout? More like a safe room. No, a safe house. Those newspapers, are they not from two years prior? Those newspapers are irrelevant. We have other business to discuss here. Then let's hear it, Zenkichi. All right, let me break it down for you bit by bit. I cross-referenced every name on the list we found in Okinawa. Based on our assumption that the mastermind would stand to benefit from changing hearts en masse, this is who we ended up with. Yeah, he sure looks like a skinny bastard. Don't I know it. To think he'd turn up now of all times. No, not in particular. Uh, anyway, the man's name is Jun Owada. At 69 years old, he's on his 10th term as a legislator. Not only that, but he worked his way up to chief cabinet secretary of the ruling party. In short, he's not someone to mess with. They say he was a Masayoshi Shido supporter during the election last year. Did you say Shido? Unbelievable. I never thought I'd hear his name again. Do you know him? of an evil asshole. Oh, I didn't know. Sounds like you and Shido had quite the history. But we're not after him right now. That list contained a handful of Awada's political opponents. People he'd rather not have around. So it's clear he's behind all this. However, I highly doubt he's doing his own dirty work. He'd have a heck of a time getting his political opponents to friend him on Emma. After checking his inner circle for sympathizers, I found out he's been meeting with a certain entrepreneur quite often, too. Nice guess. It's the CEO of Medis, all right. Akira Kanoe. Huh, isn't the CEO of Medis the guy we heard speak back in Sendai? I came across communication records between him and the director at Okinawa, and it showed they kept in contact. Then the pieces all fit. Yeah. Whenever Owada wants someone out of his way, he calls on Kanoe to take action. And the director at Okinawa was likely the one who arranged this. Now, it's too late to tell. Hold on. If Kanoe's the one changing hearts, does that make him a monarch too? But he's the CEO of Medis. Wouldn't he get one of his subordinates to do the job for him? I suppose it would be natural to assume that. But as you all know, in order to change someone's heart, you need to be their friend on Emma. Everyone Owada associates with is a big-time elite. And Kanoe's the only one in their league. Besides, he's the head of a huge company. If anything, I think he'd want to be a monarch as well. He wouldn't want to risk his heart getting changed by someone else either. Another thing, the people on that list most likely had their hearts changed in Osaka. Huh? Why do you say that? Everyone on that list who went crazy had all traveled to Osaka at some point. That's also where Medisa's main office is. Meaning there's a good chance we'll find a jail in Osaka with Kanoe as its monarch. Though, the only way we'll know for sure is if Sophia senses it. I did sense a jail. Huh? Oh, right! We did pass through Osaka when I took a wrong turn. Sophia, you should have spoken up! I did speak up, but you guys were too busy to listen. Uh, if it was when Haru was driving... Then we were likely too busy screaming for our lives. Hmm? Well, that certainly makes things easier. So it's confirmed as a jail in Osaka. Now we just need to determine whether Kanoe's the monarch or not. 
Wait, if you know that much already, why not cuff his ass right now? Right. Now here's the issue. That list only spells out his motives and connections. It isn't solid proof that he's been changing hearts. We can't arrest him on speculation alone. The most we can do is conduct a search. And that's only with his consent. Hell, he could pack up and run if he wanted to. We don't have any legal authority over him. Another thing I noticed is how many high-ranking members of the force were on that list. You think he's changed their hearts too? To get the police in his pocket? Yeah, and from the look of it, not just the rank and file either. So that's why you called us here. Because you don't know who the real enemies are. <sighs> the most I can do without being traced is some light investigation. And even then, that might be impossible. If it's the top brass we're dealing with, they might just leak the info and take action before I can lift a finger. In other words, the police are not our allies. <laughs> what else is new? <sighs> you do realize I'm also a man in uniform? Anyway, it's obvious that going about this the regular way is out of the question. What we need is something a bit more uncanny. Something only you guys are capable of. Right. If Kanoe really is a monarch, we can corner him into a confession. That's right. We completely overlooked the fact that Kanoe has a jail. But won't we need a keyword to gain access? Precisely why I had you rush over here. I'll be meeting Kanoe at Medisa's corporate headquarters today. Really? How'd you manage that? By going about it like a cop. Told them we had intel about a possible security leak involving their software. We received information about a possible party attempting to hack Emma. So on and so forth. Ooh, does somebody need a hacker? Not even that. I only said it to score me an appointment. At the end of it, I'll suggest he add me on Emma so I can answer any further questions. And we'll have ourselves a keyword. In his mind, I'll be just another pawn for the taking. So I'm pretty sure he'll take the bait. The moment I get the keyword, if I get the keyword, I'll send it right over. That's what I've been meaning to tell you. Hope it was worth the drive. Wait, if you're gonna head up their office, that means you're going to Osaka, right? Let us come with. The sooner we enter the jail, the sooner we can finish this operation. Fair, but there's a chance I might not get the keyword. Tagging along for nothing would be a wasted effort. Besides, doesn't Nijima need a breather? In fact, you all look like you need one. Can't really argue with that. Bottom line is, if you guys go down, so does everything I've worked for. So I need you fighting at your best. Got it. So our job's to wait until further contact. What the hell? I, now we gotta wait even more? Oh, you really want to complain? Right when I'm about to tell you the big surprise I have in store for you? What big surprise? spot Gramps got us? Am... am I losing my mind? No way! We really get to stay here? L it looks like it costs a fortune. This is one of Kyoto's fanciest hot spring hotels. A single night averages 40,000 yen per person. 40,000 yen? To be met with such extravagance after our harrowing journey. I am unsure how to process it. He did say he could expense it, but is he sure about that? You said it! Oh, time for a nice, hot soak! We really owe Zenkichi a great big thing. Okay, guys. Let's get in there. Just inside. Dang, I don't want to end up breaking something. <laughs> First time I've seen Inari cry over something other than food. What do you think, Mako-chan? Doesn't this seem like a great place to relax? It sure does. I saw a pamphlet mentioning how the hot springs here have a variety of natural health benefits as well. Then let's jump in already. Come on, come on! I'd like to jump in this time. Hey. Guide me through the water like you did in Okinawa. Hang on. You're not thinking of taking her into the guy's bath, are you? Are we even allowed to have phones in the bath? 
There was, in fact, a sign that forbids bringing cell phones inside the bathing area. No fear. But rules are rules. I guess I'll just wait here. There's always the bath in our room, Sophia. Once we're done, I'd be happy to take you in. Hooray! I'd like that, Haru. Why don't you join them, Yalgana? There's a shower for pets, too. I'm not a pet! But I won't let that stop me. After we're done bathing, we can all enjoy some traditional Kyoto cuisine. According to the website, dinner is as follows. Crab, shabu-shabu, heirloom vegetables, and rice soup. A veritable feast. First he cries, then he drools. You're a real leaky guy, Inari. Hey there, sorry to bother you. I did an appointment with Mr. Kanoe. I do apologize, but Mr. Kanoe is currently out on urgent business. Urgent business? Unfortunately, I don't have any more details. Please come back another day. Excuse me, but I was specifically told I could meet him here at this time? I'm sure, and I'm sorry for the inconvenience, but you'll have to come back again. What's going on here? You called, sir? Ah, Commissioner. Right on time. There's a favor I'd like to ask you. And he is? <sighs> Why, this is Mr. Owada. I'm sure you've heard much about him. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Owada. Pleasure's all mine, Commissioner Kaburagi. I've heard much about you myself. He tells me you do... Marvelous job. Hmm. Now, I hear you're after the Phantom Thieves. Hmm. Apparently, they're the culprits behind the change of heart epidemic we keep hearing so much about. But we still lack concrete proof of that, actually. Well, I'm sure you do. But my source just provided me some info that could turn this case on its head. Recently, these Phantom Thieves tried hacking one of the biggest virtual assistant programs this nation ever produced. They tried hacking Emma? That's the one. Now they're looking to steal people's information, and not for conventional reasons. First, they get all the dirt on you. Then they make you confess whatever they feel is convenient for them. That's what this epidemic is. <sighs> I'll have you know I take my position very seriously. The future of our great country is at stake, and I'll be damned if I let some two-bit terrorists run around thinking they're the ones in control. They must be arrested immediately, for my own peace of mind and that of the people. Commissioner General, what is this really about? Our legislators have decided that the Phantom Thieves can no longer run around unchecked. And we, as protectors of the law, simply wish to do what's right and assist them. There's also the matter of the next election, which I do hope to take part in. I'm sure you'll catch my drift. <laughs> You'd like some achievements under your belt. That's being very blunt about it. <laughs> but yeah, as a matter of fact, I will. So am I to understand you want the Phantom Thieves arrested and the epidemic ended without any proof? You're also to understand that coming up with proof is part of your job. Hmm. I've already discussed this with Mr. Konoe, the CEO of Modis. If anyone has the right to help us in this matter, it's him. You may not like to hear this, but it's too soon. What we call a change of heart epidemic, the public calls justice. They believe the Phantom Thieves are exposing society's evils. Suddenly apprehending them would only cause backlash. We should at least investigate whether they are really blackmailing him. They'll be charged with murder. <sighs> a body was found in Okinawa, at a research center for artificial intelligence. 
the victim was leading Emma's development. Once the Phantom Thieves discovered how to penetrate the system, they murdered the poor man. <sighs> now, do you understand? Our country is in the midst of a burgeoning crisis. Huh. There's something in it for you, too. How'd you like to call yourself Senior Commissioner? I'm sorry. You'll be on top of the entire force. I'm sure you won't be found wanting. The offer's on the table because we know you'd be right for the job. Hmm. Then I'll make it happen. If you two are giving the orders, then there's nothing more to question. Ah, I knew you'd make the wise choice. Well, the rumors were true. You really do show discretion. Perhaps you could reach Commissioner General someday. And on your merit at that, I'm sure you'd do just fine. Thank you for the vote of confidence. If that is all, please let me assure you, the task is in capable hands. In the end, we're nothing but obedient dogs, barking only at those we've been ordered. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> this place is definitely <sighs> The water is indeed divine. We must absorb all the healing energy we can. You know, I hope Gramps is all right. The man is more dependable than he seems. I'm willing to take him at his word. We may not be waiting long. Once he gets Kanoe's keyword, we spring into action. So be ready at a moment's notice. What? Well, maybe not at this very moment. Right now, it's relaxed. Mixed bath? Maybe that's why it's so empty. It switches every so often. After 8 o'clock, it's women only. The doors on the men's side should have automatically closed. Then I guess it's all ours. Sweet! I'm gonna boil myself like an egg! Oh, you gotta be shitting me. Where the hell are they here? We must have entered right when the time allotment switched. No, it's too late. They're already here. Calm down, boneheads! Our honor is at stake here. As noble thieves, as gentlemen, we need to vanish without a trace. Failing means certain death. Joker, let's begin the operation. Mm, oh, the water feels so good. <sighs> I could stay here forever. I think I'm gonna melt. Who was that just now? Is somebody here? <laughs> Were you peeping? Explain yourselves this instant. Uh, yeah, you pervs! Double, no, quadruple pervs! What do you, it, it ain't what you think! See, the, the bath time changed right after we got in. Clearly, this is all just a misunderstanding. Uh, believe us, Lady On. We were locked in at the very last moment. Right? No excuses. Yep, we're in heaven, all right. <sighs> well, that was a fine waste of time. Now what am I going to tell them?
I know I had an appointment. What kind of jerk ducks out on the police? We have some breaking news. Huh? Earlier, Akira Kanoe, better known as the CEO of Medis, held an emergency press conference, during which he announced that Emma, his company's latest virtual assistant, will cease service for the time being. What? First, let me start by addressing our users and apologizing for any inconveniences that may affect you. Emma's servers were indeed hacked. That much has been confirmed. Even more regrettable is the fact that some of your personal data was leaked in the attack. For that, I'm deeply sorry. As a company, we understand how valuable your privacy is and have taken appropriate measures to remedy this breach. That's why our company is suspending all instances of Emma until further notice. As for who was behind this horrendous attack, it was the Phantom Thieves. The very same terrorists causing all sorts of mayhem as of late. What? In addition to their heinous crimes, they've even murdered one of our very own, all to steal his research. From there, they had everything they needed to break through Emma's defenses. Murdered? That's bullshit! It seems we're the latest victim in what appears to be a string of related incidents. There are several other cases in which these criminals stole information and used it to harass their victims. If the Phantom Thieves are listening, I have a word for you, cold-blooded killers. We will never succumb to your threats. Not me, not my company, not Emma. You claim to want justice, yet you steal precious data and leave our finest for dead. I can't wait to see the day you're punished. And that sums up the press conference. The police have been notified regarding this case and are looking to arrest the Phantom Thieves as soon as possible. Now you're done it, Phantom Thieves. You goofed up big. They really went and bumped a guy off? Damn it! You just had to go and ruin Emma too. What the hell is going on? Oh, shit. Damn it. Why is no one picking up? Son of a... Entry secure. Good work. Commissioner! <laughs> You're late. Maybe. But you know this case isn't solved yet. Commissioner, I thought I told you at Okinawa. The Phantom Thieves have absolutely nothing to do with the change of heart epidemic. So how can something like this happen? It's as Mr. Kanoe stated. The Phantom Thieves are under suspicion for hacking into Emma and murdering the director of Medisa's research center. And you're going to take him at his word? Where's the proof of any of this? Be honest. Do you think they'd ever sink so low as to murder? That director had died before they even... You seem awfully concerned about a group of criminals, Inspector Hasegawa. Uh, uh. Have you forgotten they've been our leading suspects from the start? Put your feelings aside and focus. We cannot let these crimes go unpunished. What's more, I'm under direct orders from the Commissioner General. Disobedience is not an option. The Commissioner General? What does he have to do with any of this? Don't you sense something wrong here? There has to be more to it. Like when your wife died? <clears throat> I thought I told you back then. This organization is as rotten as it is immense. One cannot simply bend it to their will. Now, if you want to follow justice, learn to exercise restraint. 
Besides, you made a vow that to stop any atrocity, you'd endure any hardship. So endure for now. Your time will come. But they're not even... Once I am at the top, I will bring the corrupt to their knees. Let my justice be your justice. They're not even criminals. They're kids! I've already made myself clear. <sighs> Commissioner? You're saying that the world isn't neatly divided into good and evil. But that won't stop us from fighting. If someone is suffering, it's only right to provide aid when possible. He seems like he's fitting in better, too. What do you say? Feel like you're a phantom thief now? <sighs> Let me handle this. I believe you have a daughter who needs you. My daughter? Why, Dad? Why don't you even listen to me? You know who the real bad guy is! Aren't the police supposed to do what's right? Akane. It's time. Everyone ready? All units, move out! Hold it! Run. Run for it, all of you! Idiot. You're under arrest. Interfering with an officer is punishable by law. are next! Don't let them escape! Hey, it's me! The password. What pairs well with curry? Coffee. Accepted. What the hell kind of password is that? Something only a true Libla aficionado would know. It's foolproof. Did I really need a password? How are things out there, Mona-chan? It's a nightmare. The streets are packed with cop cars, and there are foot patrols on every corner. Yeah, for once, I'm actually glad I look like Ugh, this makes no sense. I thought part of our deal was that they wouldn't arrest us. Yeah, and now they're treating us like killers. It's total bullshit. This journey was supposed to prove our innocence, yet it only led to further condemnation. You don't think Gramps tricked us, do ya? Zenkichi put himself at risk to warn us. Without him, we'd be in much greater danger right now. And if Sinkichi-san really wanted to sell us out, the police would have showed up here, too. So let's stop doubting him, guys. Yeah, you're right. By the way, Sophia, thanks for getting us here safe. No prob. But how did all this happen? It's probably safe to assume this was something beyond Zenkichi-san's control. Bet you can always set it up, seeing how much bullshit he was spewing about justice. Well, we've wreaked havoc in four jails already. If Kanoe had created them, it would only stand to reason that he'd lash out now. But it could also be Owada. The politicians and Kichi told us about, either one of them may have us all profiled. <sighs> so what do we do now? Hey, why is Kichi's name on TV? Last night, the Kyoto Prefectural Police announced their arrest of Inspector Zenkichi Hasegawa for harboring fugitives. Police headquarters have released a statement regarding this apparent scandal, which has been met with much confusion. You gotta be kidding. They're taking it out on Gramps? Why would they arrest him? He sacrificed everything to save us. And let's get off our asses and help him. Don't be reckless. We'll only be led into their trap, and that's exactly what they want. I get that, but... 
I'll try talking to Sis. Oh, right! Saya-san's a lawyer! I've kept her out of the loop so far, and I imagine she won't be too happy once I get her up to speed. There are more important things to worry about than her reaction. I'll see if she can help. Good. As for the rest of us, let's keep gathering as much information as we can. Interrogator. It's like he enjoyed getting those hits in. I guess that's what I deserve. Oh, what the hell am I doing? Oh, should have just left those thieves alone. <laughs> then neither of us would be in this shitty situation. I couldn't even protect the ones I care about most. God damn it! Uh, wonder if they made it out all right. <laughs> As if that even matters anymore. Connie. Are we? I'm sorry. I couldn't save anyone in the end. Hey! Please stop touching our things! Since when can you enter someone's home without a warrant? You lack probable cause! <laughs> Whoa! Not bad for an inspector's daughter. Listen, Akane-chan, was it? We have plenty of probable cause. See, your daddy's been arrested thanks to the Phantom Thieves. What? The Phantom Thieves got him arrested? No. No way that's true. I mean, why? <laughs> you really didn't know. I'm sure it's all over the news by now, TV and online. Now move along. We have work to do. Inspectors and Kichi Hasegawa of the Kyoto Police held under suspicion. Arrested for harboring fugitives? The Phantom Thieves found responsible for murder and... Hacking Emma? That's impossible. What am I gonna do? Somebody... Help me. Sure. How can I help you? Have the Phantom Thieves been caught? No, not yet. I've seen three-legged dogs work faster than the boys in public security. <laughs> well, they sure are tenacious. I guess that's how they made it this far. You think the police could uh, turn up the heat on their hot pursuit? If you're asking, I'll see what I can do. But in return, make sure you don't forget to set up a jail of mine as well. Oh. That's a given. Please, look forward to what I have in store. Hmm. Emma? Yes, Akira. How may I help you? You think the cops can actually catch the Phantom Thieves? Considering the Phantom Thieves' unknown power, it may take a considerable amount of time. I was hoping to get you back online once we captured them. If it takes any longer, it may negatively impact our public image. Maybe what I said on TV wasn't exactly reassuring. All right, Emma, what's our best option? The fact that the Phantom Thieves can access jails poses a threat to our plans. Since we can't afford to wait for the police, we could always trap them in a jail and force a change of heart. Now there's an idea. After all, we wouldn't want to waste their precious talent. Good plan. How do we make it work? It would be best to make the Phantom Thieves come to us. Instead of chasing them, perhaps we can use someone they're close with as bait to lure them into a jail. Oh, and you have someone in mind? Yes. Then that's who we'll go with. Emma, make that person a monarch and have them capture the Phantom Thieves. Understood. Once they're in our grasp, we change their hearts to our liking. And if that proves impossible, should we notify Mr. Owada? No. Let him be. In order to cleanse this world of evil, nothing will get in my way. And you, Phantom Thieves, you will be the sacrifice to bring about my new world order.
So, I got a hold of my sister. And yes, she was angry. But she also said she'd do her best to help. That's a relief. Then we'll leave Zenkichi to Nijima for now. What should we do from here? We can't just sit here and wait. Hmm? It's from Akane-chan. Inari Taisha. Huh? What the hell's that supposed to mean? Taken? You mean kidnapped? Why? She's got nothing to do with us. I don't know. I'm just going off of the message she sent us. You guys think maybe Akane's just messing around? Akane-chan doesn't know our other identities. And even if she did, she wouldn't trick us. True. <sighs> Who would do such an awful thing? Definitely a possibility. So they're using a Kanechan just to lure us out? Given the timing, what else could it be? Unforgivable. What do we do? We can't even go to the cops. What else is there to do? We go after her. Calm down a moment. This has to be a trap. Yeah, they'd probably catch us within minutes of stepping out the door. <laughs> but we can't just leave her. If they even lay a finger on Akane-chan, I'll... Anyway, with Zinkichi-san behind bars, we are the only ones who can save her. If we put our own safety above that of an innocent life, then we have no right to call ourselves phantom thieves. I am well aware of what this is, and I'm fine going out there alone. You guys stay here and hold the fort. But... You losing it? We never let a friend risk their neck without at least giving backup. Plus, Akane-chan's our fan. She knows more than anyone we never abandon people in need. Otherwise, we couldn't live up to our name. Even if it is a trap, let's turn the tables against them. Darn right, Haru. Let's show them how big a mistake they've made. Thanks, everyone. All right, I'll take point and guide you past trouble. Sophia, you navigate. Okay, got it. I'll find the quickest and safest route there. Let's get going. Well, we made it here somehow. Sophia, are you sure this is it? I'm definitely sure. We're outside Inari Taisha. But I don't see anybody suspicious. <laughs> if it's a trap, then freaking come out already! Yes, let's look around and... What is it? What did you find? I found... a jail! This whole area smells like one! You mean there was a jail in Kyoto this whole time? No, there wasn't one before. I'm sure of it. But there is one now! How is that possible? You have a friend request from the Phantom Thieves. Please state the keyword. Now what is it? A friend request on Emma. Could it be the kidnapper? Given our location and the circumstances we're in, I'd say without a doubt. But we don't know the dang keyword. Wait a minute, why do we even need one? Isn't Emma supposed to be inactive? So why is it working now all of a sudden? Yeah, you're right. Maybe they restarted their service? I just want to know why the friend request says it's from the Phantom Thieves. What gives? Makes it seem like we're the bad ones. Keyword successfully entered. Beginning navigation. What? The keyword's Phantom Thieves too? Oh, you're shitting me!
looks like... a jail. It has to be. My bad, guys. I just had to go and blurt out the keyword. Don't worry about it. Either way, the kidnapper wanted us to be here. Why else would he have set up a brand new jail? Help me! Boys! Help me, Phantom Thieves! That sounds like a Connie chan No way! Is she actually in here? That's a problem. Where there are jails, there are bound to be shadows. Yes, there's no time to waste. Let's get Akane chan out of here. I'll just add this. 